Hi, I'm Dr. Brannick Riggs, Vice President of Education at doTERRA International, and grateful to be here with my friends of the Scientific and Medical Education Committee here in Europe, and to really have a conversation about MetaPower and this amazing product line. Um, I would say that I myself haven't been as excited about a product line like this in a long time. This is so incredible, and we're so excited to have it here in Europe. And so we'll have that conversation today. But let's start off with talking about metabolic health and metabolism. Ruth, can you help us understand that concept a little bit more? Uh, yeah, certainly. Well, I mean, metabolism is basically how our body deals with the nutrients that we take in, the macronutrients, mm -hmm. what it does with carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. There are two basic things that we need to do. We need energy, and we need to build things in yeah. our body. And so right. it, it's deciding whether we use it for energy, where, whether we have the resources to build things, and also what we put, to put into storage yeah. for later on and what happens. Yeah. And the reason why it's really important is because we are finding more and more these days that our, because our diet perhaps isn't quite so good, our exercise isn't so good, there's lots of things that we do that aren't very good for it. Our metabolic health is starting to show. For example, in Europe, I think it's somewhere in the region of 20 to 25 percent of people in Europe have poor metabolic health. Yeah. Um, and you can see that in terms of healthy life years and those life years at the end which are not so healthy. Right. Um, so dealing with our metabolic health is also very closely linked to how well we age. Mm -hmm. So it's linked to a whole number of things yeah. that are really, really important. We're finding more and more, right, that the relationship between metabolic health, even in our younger years, and how that affects us in our older Absolutely. years. Absolutely. And making sure we can have those healthy older years, to exactly. your point. So, Alexandra, can you talk through the five pillars of metabolic health, those things that we really know affect metabolic health. Yes, a lot of things are affecting our metabolic health. The first thing is what we're eating. Mm -hmm. So everything what we put into in, in our body, eating and drinking, will uh, influence our metabolic health because our body is taking from everything something what the body is needing but, uh, and bring it to the target organs, but also what uh, we are not uh, n really need. Um, the body is, is also using this um, yeah, and um, do it in places where the body will maybe need it in hard times, mm -hmm. uh, like in fat cells mm -hmm. um, or um, the toxic substances that um, we, uh, we also can, can eat. Mm -hmm. yeah? so, mm -hmm. so eating is really important. Also drinking. We have to drink a lot of water because we are almost, you said it's so lovely, we are a bacteria planet, but mm -hmm. uh, the bacteria are swimming because we are a water planet. Right. <laughs> we are almost completely <laughs> about yeah. water, so drinking water is really important and mm -hmm. not um, substances with a lot of sugar. Um, mm -hmm. So um, um, don't take too many sugar and too many salt in us, it's also really important. Mm -hmm. So the, the healthy eating is yeah. the first of the uh, pillars from the metabolic health. Mm -hmm. the health the second one is the moving. So uh, mm -hmm. moving is really important, yeah. not only for us, also for our children. How many children are sitting home in front of the TV, iPad? Too um, many screens. Yeah, so in the past, I think um, when we were small, um, the parents told us, come back at home. And now the parents are pulling the kids out, going out, uh, moving. And uh, in, in, in our days, um, mm -hmm. you already told that so many children also have problems with the metabolic health. I think um, it's now um, so 30% of the children yeah. already have problems with the metabolic health. That is 10 times more than in the 70s. And this depends a lot um, because of the food and also because of the less uh, moving. Um, cheap food is not healthy. Yeah. And so people who have not so much money, they have such more problems right. um, than the people who have a lot of money. So mm -hmm. yeah, they, we have to be aware about all this. So moving yeah. is the second um, pillar of mm -hmm. the metabolic health. Mm -hmm. The third one is um, or are the relationships. 
and yeah. I'm talking about good relationships mm -hmm. because um, bad relationships are not good for our metabolic health but right. the good ones they are really important because we have a lot of positive hormones in our body who are helping us mm -hmm. and the body releases it when we have relationships like uh, only touching mm -hmm. so touching mm -hmm. is so important and if we have a little baby a baby is born everybody mm -hmm. is touching this baby and right. hugging and kissing but if we are getting older and if we're getting um, yeah, sicker, mm -hmm. we get so um, um, a, a lack of, of, of feelings, a lack of touching. Yeah. And all the people outside who are, who are old, they need it. So they need holding their hands uh, mm -hmm. and, and do good things with them. And we can use aroma touch um, for oh, this yeah. purpose. I think this is an amazing and easy way to give um, other people feelings with essential oils. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do the whole program. We can only use the hand technique or we can use an essential oil. Use it on the feet of your grandma. She, mm -hmm. will, she will love it. Yeah. So relationships are really important and um, this is the third pillar of the mm -hmm. metabolic health. The fourth pillar is uh, stress and sleep. We heard yeah. today a lot about stress and sleep mm -hmm and um, it belongs so, so much together. For me, um, I'm, I was also a person who said, okay, maybe if I sleep uh, one hour less, then I would have less stress the next day because I would have more time for my tasks. But the problem is we need our sleep mm -hmm. and we need the seven to eight hours every day. And if we don't have this sleep in the right time, this is also important because our our circadianic rhythm, mm -hmm. um, then we have a problem the next day because we are tired and we um, don't, uh, we, we can't work so effective economy, and so yeah. good. Yeah. So right. we lose time, we lose time with less sleep. Yeah. So on, on our hour we have more time, mm -hmm. but uh, in total we, ha we don't I have agree. more time. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so we have to be aware of uh, our good sleep and also avoiding negative stress so good as we can or being a little bit better prepared in our life, a little bit better structured with a little bit more organization and relaxing in between. If we have a stressy day, we need in between relaxing to um, managing the stressy mm -hmm. situations. And then we are more resilient and uh, better for yeah. the next time. Uh, mindfulness yeah. and meditation and things really, it's, that movement really helps in those things. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, it's, it's so interesting that this is influencing our metabolic yeah, yeah. health That's also. Right. Yeah. Yes, and the last one are the intelligent nutrition. Yeah. And I think it's amazing that we have the opportunity to take nutrition who are helping us um, or supporting that our body can manage all these negative things better we have um, outside. Yeah. But these are only a little part in, in, in all of this. A lot of people are thinking, if I take a good nutrition or if I take a good pill, then I will be healthy, then right. I will have a healthy life, yeah. then I will lose. 20 kilo, no. give me the pill, I can use, no. <laughs> lose mm -hmm. 20 uh, yeah. kilo it's immediately. Illusion, isn't it? Yeah. Right. But that's not possible. We have to look at all these pillars. Yeah. And that's the most important, that we have to change a lot. But we can't change it in one day. Yeah. So we only can to change it step by step. And for me, the most interesting was that relationship is the most important in mm -hmm. this five pillars of metabolism. The number health. one predictor of how long we'll live yes, is how healthy our relationships are. And it's are. just, there, there's a, some really interesting studies on the blue zones for that. You know, if you've yeah. seen those where they right. looked at why, why there are areas of the world where people live to over 100, there are a much higher percentage of people living to over 100. Mm -hmm. and really different areas of the world from you know Japan to South America somewhere and it all comes down to yeah. healthy relationships the value and the purpose that people have yeah. and that the respect they have for each other yeah. that's healthy aging. Alex you have been with the company for a very long time you're aware of our smart and sassy blend it's a well-loved blend and I know uh, with the announcement of MetaPower there was some angst about s smart and sassy going away, right? Um, could you help us understand maybe why Smart and Sassy is going away and why we now have the MetaPower blend and the difference between those two? Yeah, I mean, doTERRA, we're, we're committed to 
offering the best, right? So when we know better, we do better. Mm -hmm. And that's our commitment. So we continue to look at the research behind individual oils, behind oil blends. And you mentioned we've had Smart and Sassy for a number of years. Yeah. We're able to really zero in on the chemistry of essential oils and the impact that they're having on our physiology. And so we looked at individual oils and then the specific ratios of those oils in a blend. And what's interesting to note is that Smart and Sassy and Metapower have the same five essential oils in both yeah. blends, but in different ratios. Mm -hmm. And that adjustment in the chemistry, because we've adjusted the amount of oil, um, has an impact on our metabolic health. Right. And so we talk about um, what that does, what that means for adipogenesis or the development of adipocytes and fat cells and their accumulation of fat. Yeah. So it's pretty fascinating. I really appreciate the fact that we, we tried another blend, same oils, mm -hmm. different ratios, and we're like, we hypothesized that that would be better than our smart and sassy blend and actually found it was worse. Yeah. Yeah. And so then we changed again. Right. And I, what I love about this is it's a real life example of synergies. Like no one of those individual oils worked as well as having that exact blend together. And I think that's just a really lovely example of science helping us. And science and laboratory helping us in the... Mm -hmm. um, and in the perfect ratio. Yes, right. exactly. That yeah. uh, if we take a little bit, um, um, a little bit lemon inside mm. and a little bit less ginger or something else, that this whole blend is changing. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. And we, and we see that not only um, you know, within single oils, that the, the whole chromatogram, the whole chemistry of the whole oil, and now all of the chemistry from the oils in the blend yeah. play yeah. so well together and key lovely, to, yeah. how they, to how they yeah. function. I love those things. Which is, good graph. which is so good yeah. is that Duterra has that commitment of yes. doing better. Mm -hmm. So with the evolution of the knowledge, and we could just make a better blend. Yeah. We could just stick with the, the good product. Especially one good. that's selling well, right? Yeah, it was selling well, <laughs> but no. We get we a lot of angst every time. We're, best for the people. Yeah, we, so, we get a lot of angst or, or frustration every time we're doing away with a product and replacing yeah, it with a new so one. There's get, yeah. lots of frustration with us, but to your point, Alex, as, we, as the science comes out, as we understand more, we need to make new iterations on the product because there's more there's better science out there to yeah. help direct us. So, Alex, you, you as, as in charge of product development uh, at doTERRA, you know a little bit about the MetaPower products. Why don't you walk us through the three products uh, and, and tell us about uh, what they do? Yeah, and this, this journey has been a long time coming, right? right. It, it's, it's happened over several years. Um, but really, MetaPower is built on three primary um, pillars, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, from, from product perspective. We have our essential oil blend. Mm -hmm. So this is available in a couple of different ways that you can use the product in a soft gel delivery or in a bead lit delivery. The oil on its own can be um, used aromatically, topically, internally. And then we have um, MetaPower Assist. And this product is really designed around helping to um, influence blood sugar levels. Uh, most of the sugar in our blood comes from our diet. Mm -hmm. So the things that we're eating, if we're making good food choices, then it will uh, help have a better blood sugar response. But MetaPower Assist is helping us to influence and, and to normalize those healthy blood sugar levels. Mm -hmm. And then we have MetaPower Advantage, the third step in the MetaPower product system, which is really addressing biological aging and metabolic health, that these are interconnected and it, we're improving our health span from the inside out with the production of NAD from, from NMN, with resveratrol, with our collagen tripeptide. So it's, a, it's an amazing product that really goes at um, not just metabolic health, but biological aging. And yeah, yeah. you should be very proud of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've often said in, until doTERRA figures out the, the cure for the common birthday, then MetaPower Advantage is a great product for us to take every single day, right? Yeah, yep, do what we can do. It really does help us, our cells, respond in a younger way than, than they would without it, which is fabulous. So let's get into some specifics. And, and Fernando, maybe you can help us understand this. Tell us the difference or maybe how you would utilize the beadlets versus the blend versus the soft gels of the MetaPower blend. Give now, us an idea of how you'd use yeah, those. Look, this is the, those three different presentations 
from the same blend. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, like I use it, I use the, the, the blend, the oil in the water. Mm -hmm. It really tastes good. And if you, don't, if you don't like to take water all the time, all the day, and you can add some drops, you really get a different uh, taste, but it really helps you. Mm -hmm. So the beetlets, when you're craving for taking some snack, just take a beetlet, mm -hmm. it will help you too. And you can use it aromatically, mm -hmm. it smells delicious. And the soft gels, you can really take it when, in, your, in your meals. So it depends what you prefer, yeah. what you like. Yeah. So uh, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just what you like the most. Yeah. Options. Yeah. 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 I, for me, I use the three of them uh, in all the way possible because I really like uh, the flavor. Yeah. I really like the smell and I really like what the results I have only with that product. Right. I like the way you're describing these, these sensory experiences, right? This mindful eating. Sometimes we just want to taste something, yeah. just want to smell something or drink something, and, and this helps us to do that. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes people in my office say, I, I don't drink that much water. Yeah, I don't have that habit. Mm -hmm. And I say, why you don't use some fruit there? Why you don't use some essential oil that you like, that mm -hmm. helps you? But because at the end, I want them to drink more water. That's mm -hmm. true, that both helps. I don't know, yeah, yeah. I don't care yeah. how they're going to take it. I want them to, because water really, like you said, helps in all the yeah. physiological process. It's fundamental. But why not use it a good product like mm -hmm. the Meta Power Blend? Yeah, yeah. So, Alexandra, help us understand a little bit about the Meta Power Assist product, how it works, and then maybe how we might want to utilize it. What you know, how would you would recommend people use the Assist mm -hmm. product? Yes, the MetaPower Assist product is um, really amazing. Um, at first, we have the MetaPower Blend inside. Mm -hmm. So from all we talk, uh, it's, it's already in. But there are two ingredients um, I would like to focus. Um, the one is the mulberry leaf, mm -hmm. and the second one is the berberine. And in the mulberry leaf, this is, a, this is not a new thing, because the traditional Chinese medicine, I think it's using now for, for uh, hundreds for years mm -hmm. as a preventing uh, plant. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have inside this mulberry leaf an amino sugar. And this DNG amino sugar is a sugar analog on. That means it is like uh, a sugar, but it isn't a sugar. Yeah. So it's um, it's similar to glucose, but it's not the same. There are differences in the chemical structure, but mm -hmm. only small differences. Mm -hmm. And this um, small differences, they uh, they do a lot for us because because of this small differences, we have um, we have a slower resorption of our carbohydrates in our digestive um, digestive system. So that means that we have um, a, a lower increase of our blood sugar. Yeah. And this is really um, amazing because we already talked about our glycemic index and how important it's for our body not to have so roller coasters. Yeah. Because if we have big roller coasters in our body with a blood sugar, it could harm um, our blood vessels. It could make our cells resistant against insulin mm -hmm. and we have no other hormone in our body than insulin who can do this work. And the work of insulin is to put the sugar out of our blood and pull it in our cells. Mm -hmm. And if the cells are resistant against insulin, then um, we also um, can have later um, mm -hmm. problems with our metabolic health. Mm -hmm. So this is really amazing that we have on the one side this support, and on the other side we have the berberine. Mm -hmm. And in the berberine we have the AMPK um, in inhibitor, and this AMPK inhibitor has um, two points I would like to imagine. The first is, it, um, it helps insulin a little bit. It's an insulin helper mm -hmm. that the cells um, could, um, uh, so that the, the sugar could go easier or better in the cells. Um, then in the second way, we have um, an influence to our cholesterol and our fat metabolism. So mm -hmm. we have um, with the AMPK um, the opportunity that uh, en enzymes are inhibited 
who are uh, for the synthesis of, of, of cholesterol and also for fat synthesis, they are important. So mm. this inhibiting is also helping our metabolic health. And there is a third thing, mm -hmm. and the third thing is our energy. So mm -hmm. in our cells, um, we have the, the ATP and the AMP. If we have a lot of AMP, then we know, okay, the cells are really tired and we have to do something. And um, this is totally evolutional. I think this is one of the oldest things our body can do is to realize when we need energy. Mm -hmm. And this uh, AMPK inhibitor is also our energy giver. It, uh, it feels when we have less um, ATP in the cells and it um, promotes and supports our body to get more energy. Mm -hmm. So this combination is really amazing. And with ASSIST, I think we have a great support for our metabolic health. Yeah. I think because of the way it's designed, we want to make sure that we're taking it with our largest carbohydrate meal of the day yes. because of that issue yes. of inhibiting yes. carbohydrates. Yes. But some people may actually need to take it several times a day, right? Yeah, that's with every true. Meal. That's true. So for, for me, I take um, the MetaPower Assist only once a day. Mm -hmm. So with my biggest meal, um, yes, you can take it with the highest ca uh, carbohydrate meal. That would be mm -hmm. the most Logical, I'm only thinking, okay, which meal is the biggest today? Mm -hmm. So will I have a big lunch or will I have right. a big dinner? Or is it now weekend and I have a really big breakfast with the family? Mm -hmm. Then I take it in the morning. But if I have um, maybe a little bit more struggles with my metabolic health, then I would recommend to take it much more than only once a day. Mm -hmm. Then take it with every meal a day. Mm -hmm. You can take it twice. You can take it um, in the morning uh, at lunch or at dinner mm -hmm. or also if you um, if you have in between um, you, you, you will eat s something with a lot of carbohydrates um, then you can also use mm -hmm. um, the the, um, the MetaPower assist yeah. Yeah, to support it. That's great. So let's do a deeper dive into MetaPower Advantage for just a minute. Um, Ruth, there's two really key ingredients, you know, it's 12 ingredients in there and we don't have time to go through all of them. But there's two ingredients in there, NMN and NAD+. Ruth, maybe talk a little bit about why those are relevant to us and how important they are for well, us. Well, Alexandra just mentioned ATP. and she I mean, this is NAD, mm -hmm. NAD, NADP is like, these are the molecules of life. And it's not just in humans. They it, Evolutionary wise, it, every life form gets its energy from these molecules. So yeah, right. the, the, the presence of NAD, um, NADP and of ATP are what drives every single energy bound function within our whole body. Our mm -hmm. whole metabolism depends on it. And the interesting thing we know about it is that if you monitor NAD levels throughout life, they start going down with age. So yeah. they're sort of an indicator. Sadly. Of, yes, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> they are sort of an indicator of age. And there is sort of more and more research coming up now which is indicating that supplementation can help to sort of level up mm -hmm. that, to sort of stop that decline mm -hmm. um, and, and help the associated yeah. endpoints that we have to go And with it starts it. at 25, which now at 53 seems like a very young age to start seeing that 53 decline. 53 seems like a very young age to me. <laughs> <really>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, so these are, I mean, these are vital things. Yeah. Um, and by having this smart supplementation to help us support through, it helps every single system in our body. It helps our energy, it helps the metabolism, it helps all the processes that we have mm -hmm. in the body. Yeah, so that NAD plus and the, and the NMN really act as those building blocks. Yeah, so NMN the is a precursor for it. Yeah, ATP, exactly. right? So yeah. then we, we can up-level our energy levels. Yeah. And, maybe keep up with grandkids, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or try to. Unlikely, I think, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, because, oh, Renick, let me add this. Sometimes people say, oh, I feel so tired. Yeah, I've sure. I've done nothing special during the day, but I feel tired. Right. And uh, what I explain to them is, yeah, because of this process. Right. Because an MN and NAD plus reduce along the age, so you have less capacity produce more energy. Yeah. So you feel with less energy. Yeah. So that's a great importance mm. to supplement. For sure, for sure. We are just upgrading our, and improving our metabolism. Just give a hand. Absolutely, 
giving it those building blocks so it can do what it does. And of course, right? if yeah. you have more energy, then you can take more exercise, and that yeah. helps with yeah. the five pillars that are on there. I mean, these are why these things are and not actually, magic actually bullets on their own, but they help to support you to do the right thing. Right. Yeah, and right. actual people that try it, after a month, they say, when it stopped, oh, they really feel the difference. Mm -hmm. They feel with yeah. more energy, and now they feel, yeah, they feel yeah. lack of something. Alex, another key ingredient within our Advantage product is the collagen, and there are some things that set it apart and make it unique compared to what's usually found on the market today. Tell us a little bit more about the collagen. I, I'm a huge fan. I keep expecting it to grow my hair. It hasn't yet, but maybe I'm expecting a bit much from the collagen. Tell us about the collagen and your, your understanding of that. Yeah. How much time do we have? No. <laughs> uh, there, there are a lot of really key, unique features about this collagen. Um, just the highlights. So we have marine source. Yeah. We have more than 70% in tripeptide form. We have nine different types of tripeptides. So people may, may not necessarily know that collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. Mm -hmm. um, it's used, uh, people commonly recognize that we have collagen in our skin. We have collagen in our joints. We have collagen surrounding our organs. We have collagen connecting our muscles to our joints. And so collagen is found all through the body and 28 different types of collagen have been characterized in the body. So we're providing collagen in tripeptide format, more than 70%, in nine different tripeptide types to really support that whole, whole body um, role that collagen plays. Mm -hmm. And uh, by, by consuming this in those small tripeptide fragments, we can absorb those intact, and those amino acids can help to stimulate the fibroblasts in our body to synthesize this collagen. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we see that, and we, we see that in the benefits that people are reporting, um, yeah. not just uh, topically, but the way that they feel, the way that they move. I've heard feedback quality. actually that, well, you, your, your product doesn't contain very much collagen compared to what else I was ordering. And really, this is the answer. Three grams of collagen, but 12 times more bioavailable than, right. the, than the product that they're consuming means that you get a whole lot more into the system than what they're getting from their, their product. That's right, and sometimes people that, that will state that, oh, well, it's the amount of collagen, but they're not really understanding the physiology, mm -hmm. the, the digestion, right? Because collagen is a macromolecule, and as a macromolecule, it can't be absorbed mm -hmm. until it's digested. Right. So if it's simply digested and, and cut up, you know, Ruth mentioned catabolism and mm -hmm. anabolism, the breakdown mm -hmm. for energy or the building up if we want to build and synthesize new collagen from these building blocks, they need to be in these little fragments. Mm -hmm. So this indiscriminate digestion of large amounts of macromolecular protein mm -hmm. called collagen, it's not really what people should be focused on if they want to synthesize new collagen. Yeah, and the nine types also plays a role there. Typical products have two or three types of collagen. We have nine types of collagen and like for instance, for me, I, I was very interested in collagen type nine, which supports intervertebral discs. As, as I advance in my years and have birthdays, it's one of the concerns I have of how am I gonna hold up in my later years and to know that we've got collagen that's going to be supportive of those intervertebral discs is pretty fantastic. Yeah. And beside this um, different collagen types, what you said with this synergic reaction, um, we have also in this product the collagen supports. And I think this is really amazing because if um, I give a patient a collagen product, I will never give it without vitamin C. We need mm -hmm. vitamin C for the collagen mm -hmm. synthesis. No collagen without vitamin C. That is so logical. And vitamin C is so cheap. Mm -hmm. So why uh, other things are are sometimes not so smart. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's really smart that we have um, inside the vitamin C, we have the biotin inside, we have the hyaluronic uh, acid inside, and we have the phytoceramides inside. So all the things we can support, not only the skin, like yeah. you said, mm -hmm. also the joints, and also our concentration, mm -hmm. our mood, because we need uh, all this, also the collagen, for um, supporting our cardiovascular health, mm -hmm. and also support Supporting um, other things in our body. Yeah, well, and you, you mentioned the, the connection between collagen, supporting our collagen, and our cardiometabolic health. Right? There's a recent publication out of the UK, actually, that looked at the association of consuming collagen tripeptides 
and improves cardiometabolic health. And when we understand that collagen plays a, a role throughout our entire body, yes. you know, in the vasculature yes. of our heart right. and things like that, we can see now. how it improves our whole metabolic health. Yeah. So we've touched on each of the products within the system and then the whole MetaPower system as a whole. We may have some people and wellness advocates out there wondering, do they need to use the whole system? So I guess the question I would pose to the group is, do they? Yes, yes. absolutely, yes. Okay, all right, I think that's fairly unanimous. Uh, why, why would it be important for them to use the whole system? As, as, a, as a whole rather than individual components. Because they all, uh, you know, they all address different parts of that, the, the five metabolic pillars. They help to support different elements and they act synergistically together to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a good relationship of, um, of intelligent nutrition. There you go. Yeah. They have healthy connections and yeah. healthy relationships. I think that's great. The products actually were designed to be used together. Yeah. The whole system is intended and, and they complement one another. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So for those who can't wait to start using MetaPower as a system, Alexandra, maybe you can help us understand what a day in our life might look like using MetaPower. Okay, so the MetaPower blend, we heard a lot about it, that we have this in uh, three different forms, mm -hmm. at the oil, at the soft gels, and also as the beadlets. Mm -hmm. So um, I would say the metabolic blend, we can um, bring this in our daily routine. Mm -hmm. So take it whenever you want, whenever mm -hmm. you like, whenever you feel. So um, you can use it um, when you have cravings. Yeah, it's a great time. You can mm -hmm. use it um, s starting in the morning with a big glass of water. Yeah. You can use uh, the beadlets in your handbag, in your small handbag, or also in your jeans pocket. <laughs> Good, because yeah. I don't have a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, so you can take it with you. Yeah, that's a great travel yeah. size, yeah. right? A great travel size. Yeah. And, and easy to share, too. Yeah. And it's yeah. easy to share, right. yeah. yeah. yeah and um, I love the soft gales because um, you can take it easily and you can take it quickly. Mm -hmm. And you don't um, have to drink a whole glass of water with it. Okay, right. there are some people who are using maybe the blend under the tongue. This is mm -hmm. also possible. Mm -hmm. But you have so different ways you can use the blend now. So you can choose. It's no matter which one you take, but take it, take it in yeah. your daily routine. Um, the Meta Power Assist, I would recommend for people with a normal metabolic health mm -hmm. that they take it once a day with their biggest meal or the um, highest um, meal with the highest ratio of carbohydrates. Yeah. That would be the best. Um, I take it mostly with my biggest meal of the day. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have problems with your metabolic health already, then for a better supporting, I would recommend take it two or three times a day yeah. before every um, carbohydrate carbohydrate mm -hmm. <laughs> meal um, and take it 15 to 20 minutes before you eat. Yeah. If you forget it, then take it when you eat. That's also okay and can work, but afterward, words, I, I, I would not recommend to take it. Yeah. Then I would wait until your next um, meal or 15 to 20 minutes before your next and if, meal. And if you're, only, if you're having a meal that's only protein, then you don't necessarily need to take the assist, correct? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, right? that's it's, true. It's really yeah. ma mainly geared towards carbohydrate. Yes. How about the advantage? What's the recommendation there? The advantage, I would say once a day, mm -hmm. um, once a day um, in the morning, um, at, at lunch or in the evening, no, no. matter when, when you have time, right. then you take the advantage. But if you want or if you like, you can take more than only one satchel. Mm -hmm. I take only one satchel for me it's perfect and mm -hmm. enough but I think uh, you can take it also twice or three times a day yeah. for the advantage users mm -hmm. it's also possible yeah we, we're finding folks sometimes with the advantage is they some people take it it makes them a little bit more fatigued but yeah. those people actually are sleeping better when yeah, they take I, the advantage that in happens the evening. to me I tend to take it in the afternoon evening right. because I just I heard that and, and yeah. I find it much better to do it that way and for me it was actually the opposite I'd heard it too and I started using it in the evening and I was not able to get to sleep in the evening I, it was midnight 1 a.m. till I finally got oh, tired so for me it's it's morning time and that keeps my energy level up throughout the day so yeah. right. really it's that personal yeah. wellness yeah. realize right we're, yeah. we're learning how our system yeah. Yeah. works and that's very important yeah. and we have to try yes yes yeah absolutely and you probably have to readjust and yeah yeah. So um, I'm going to I'm going to ask you this question, Fernando, about the fact that 
we have our lifelong vitality pack, and now we've come out with the MetaPower system. And some people might be thinking, well, I should just take one or the other. Is there a need to continue taking lifelong vitality along with our MetaPower, or does one replace the other? LLV is a product. MetaPower is another product. Mm -hmm. Different ways of working. Mm -hmm. So it's, they complement each other. Yeah. None of them substitute the other. Mm -hmm. One gives you energy, helps mm -hmm. you with uh, your deposits, helps mm -hmm. you with your glucose spikes. Mm -hmm. The other gives you minerals, mm -hmm. gives you vitamins, mm -hmm. gives you micronutrients. So they complement. Yeah. So if you think MetaPower and LLV are huge complex, so there are two different, they can take, be in take together. So you have your routine to take your LLV and you have your routine to take MetaPower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think, Ruth, what you said earlier about the fact that, that uh, m metabolic health and our MetaPower system is all about macronutrients. Yes. It's yeah. what we do with our fats, carbohydrates, proteins. And LLV is all about our micronutrients, the micronutrients that our cells need. And it's no wonder that we have the foundational level of the wellness chart being nutrition, which is where our LLV sits. And then on top of that is our metabolism. Mm -hmm making sure that our cells are getting all of the micronutrients that mm -hmm. they need to then now be able to yeah, this, deal with the macronutrients. Yeah. You, you, you might have the energy, but if you haven't got the enzymes and the processes that you need to do that, which is where the micronutrients come in, then it yeah. won't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything. Right. So you, do need, you right. need the whole package. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So these amazing people that I have the privilege of hanging out with have had the opportunity to use MetaPower for quite a while now and, and experience its benefits. Um, and I was so grateful that you could join me today in having this conversation and helping us really do a deeper dive into MetaPower. So thank you very much.